Thank you. The next question, the member for Guelph. My question is for the Premier. People love the Greenbelt. They want the Premier to keep as many promises, not to pave over the places they love, the farmland that feeds us, the nature that protects us, especially when we already have enough land slated for development to address the housing crisis, land in places where people want to live, close to where they work, their family, and transit, not in unaffordable places with long, expensive commutes. We know that developing the Greenbelt will help a few land speculators turn millions into billions. Speaker, why is the Premier breaking his many promises not to pave over the Greenbelt when his own housing task force clearly stated that we do not need to open the Greenbelt for development to address the housing crisis? Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. You know, Speaker, um, I want to thank the honourable member for his, uh, his question. Um, always disappointed in him not supporting our government's uh, community housing renewal, uh, social services relief fund, uh, all of our housing supply action plans. Pretty well everyone universally he's, uh, he's either voted against or spoke against. Um, never uh, supported our call to uh, asking the federal government for uh, the 480 million that we're owed, even though some federal Greens have, uh, have indicated support for that. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, our consultation with Ontarians is going to do two things. It's going to grow the green belt by over 2,000 acres, which, which I think is a, is a very positive opportunity, including the Periscope Moraine that uh, this member had a private member's bill uh, in respect to. But at the same time, uh, it'll provide an opportunity with, uh, with 50,000 homes at a minimum on land that's existing, it's serviced, it's adjacent to an urban area. Uh, these uh, locations were selected for a purpose, and the purpose is to get shovels in the ground faster. The supplementary question. Speaker, I voted against the government's housing bills because they won't solve the housing crisis. I want to vote for bills that actually solve the crisis. Let's be clear. Dismantling environmental protections, attacking local democracy, paving over farmlands, wetland and nature, downloading costs onto property taxpayers, forcing people into long, expensive commutes will not solve the housing crisis. I've put forward plans that show how good planning, zoning changes that allow fourplexes and walk-up four-story apartments, mid-rise apartments along transit corridors and arterial roads, clamping down on housing speculation, investing in deeply affordable co-op and non-profit housing. Those are the solutions that will solve the housing crisis. Will the minister say no to what the land speculators want and yes to the solutions that will actually deliver housing that's affordable in the communities people want to live in. 